It's Saturday, October 10th. We decided to take our neighborhood back. There was an encampment and then there was a fire. So we were gonna take this median and we're gonna put planters in it with succulents so it's very easy to take care of. Myself, Rebecca, Marissa, and Danny just went to Home Depot, got a bunch of lumber. Now we're gonna put together these long planters and then the neighbors have brought together some plants. I got two neighbors that just came by and they're gonna go saw off some more succulents. This is another one of our neighbors. <laughs> So basically the planters are gonna look like this. So you got the bottom, the sides, and then we'll just cut the ends. Danny's gonna screw them together and then we'll bring in the dirt and we'll start planting the succulents. We're gonna do it on our property and then we're gonna lift and then go across the street so we're not building on city property, nothing like that. We're just gonna develop it here and walk it over. So originally we had to measure the media and figure out the dimensions of what we're working with. Then we had to clean the ash off from the encampment fire. When we went to Home Depot, we calculated how much wood we need to buy. We pulled that wood onto a cart, and then we put it on a truck. We loaded that up, and we went back to the location. A bunch of neighbors came by and picked up succulents for us and delivered it. We built a bunch of boxes, and then we went to pick up some free dirt from a neighbor. Those eight boxes, we waterproofed all of them inside and the outside. The neighbors brought in rich soil that they purchased for us and that was put on top. But shovely, I have like, look at this wrist girl, dainty. Show me those fingernails, show me those beautiful fingernails. Me. Oh. Are those professionally oh, done or did you Oh do no, them? that was her, you know, in her room one night. Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, the men of the house, hey, did you guys finish the median over there? You didn't do it, okay. I thought you were going outside. I had to do the house. Uh, Siobhan was over there, can't leave the house empty. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Were they putting 130 pounds on it? 28, 128. 128 pounds on it. <laughs> <laughs> we got lemonade! Oh. Woo! Woo! And cookies. Oh. And cookies. Oh. Homemade cookies. Oh. Lemonade time, babes. This lemonade is so yellow. Yeah, what's up with that? It's yellow. It was whatever the like mix was. Is it YOLO? This is some Lello lemonade. <laughs> very, very specific. Sister to Lulu lemon? Lulu lemon? Sister to Lulu lemon? Lulu. You bring the black fabric for planters that we have at Westwood? Yeah, okay. I'm yeah, smart. Okay, okay, okay. I have to work for days. <laughs> Days so that I can get days off. Oh, and, uh, and you bring the, the yeah. stapler that was under the desk? That I did not bring. There were 15 minutes. Can I drive up the Now, sir. Where are the keys to the car? You are giving them. I don't have them. Put them in the front seat then. Okay. Alright, kids. Andrew was trying to drive, don't let him. <laughs> I found it. Exactly. Becky, you go get you some orange juice, go you know, lay on the hammock. Right, yeah, where are LV yeah. where's your credit card? We're gonna send Becky on a shopping spree. <laughs> what do you want, Becky? We'll send it to us. <laughs> How are your strokes, Marissa? Uh, never had any complaints. Accurate. Never had any complaints. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're covering way much gro more ground than I am, but I'm doing it with more like passion. God made dirt. Dirt don't hurt. If I die, God knows why. <laughs> Farm town girls. Definitely stronger than me. There you go. Oh, it got okay. caught under here, that's why. Uh, <laughs> Living in that city Central Valley. <laughs> oh, for real city world. Welcome to LA. Listen to the sirens every day, every night. Boom! <sighs> Done! Oh, yeah. Once we filled our neighbor's <laughs> truck with dirt, we went back to the site and people helped us unload it. We then picked up the eight planters and walked them across the street. The original design was supposed to be a border, but when neighbors and people walking by contributed their thoughts, we said, let's make it a sun. And conveniently, one neighbor came and dropped off three large planters, one for the center, and one on each side of the sun. With our neighbors ready for us to go pick up his palm tree, I was gonna use your truck for that if that's okay. Where is it? Um, nearby, or you can come with me, or we can go together. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll drive it. So we've got three, and I was gonna say, well, I should bring the crew, because two of them we gotta dig out, one's already dug. Yeah. So the dug one would go in the middle, but then the two we gotta put on yeah, the. Go down and get out. 
Can I get it all right in the car? Right <laughs> yeah. Look, the kids are taking responsibility. I love that, man. This is the future right here. Okay, kid. We see you. We see you. Good job. Wow, this is why we come together. Hey, neighbors. We're beautifying this little nook. I love it. Yeah? Great idea. Thank you. Oh, my God. They're so beautiful. Thank you. That's right. Thanks, guys. Just 10 days later, on October 20th, a notice of violation was taped to the median. On it, it reads, remove all planters from public right of way. But it is not in the right of way. In fact, our median has a pocket that is off to the side. A lot of neighbors are upset because when the encampment was here prior to the fire, it was not ticketed. But when the neighbors came together to put this beautification project together, it was cited in 10 days for removal. Since this median has already had an encampment fire, we feel that it deserves this beautification project.